Okay, Let me get that off the screen. Jim is very practiced at moving meetings along. Can I interject really quick? The only thing is I wasn't here last meeting, so I'll have to abstain. So I don't know if that'll affect anything. Mm, I don't think so. You don't okay. have to abstain. Okay. Yeah. Well, you can, even if she abstains, we'll still have enough. I, it doesn't have to be, we don't need a quorum of yeses. I, okay. I don't think. Just, um, you just need a majority. So okay. Yeah, just the majority Great. of who's present. Right, thank you. Okay, uh, do a call to order. Uh, this is the West University Historic Zone Advisory Board meeting, uh, Tuesday, the 17th of October. Uh, it is 6.02 p.m. And we will do a roll call of who's here. Let me just kind of get a one second here. Let me just get the participants up because there's a lot of participants. Here. Okay. Uh, we'll just go down the uh, roll call of who's here. And then I think we might have a couple of folks join us after we get started. And I'll, and Darcy, we can just add them to the, uh, uh, the war. So, uh, Betsy Besnick. Present. Jim Block. Present. Darcy Hazelbaker. Present. Um, uh, Sarah, are, are you, is that you on the iPhone, Sarah Ferrada? I'm here, but I don't know. Am I? You. <laughs> am I <laughs> muted? I'm muted. No, no, I hear you. We hear you just fine. We just don't see you. That's cool. All well, right, so, I, all right. I can't figure all this out. <laughs> That's okay. Can you can you see the screen? Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, I can see you guys. My my tablet decided not to work, and my iPhone is showing my photo, but it's not. I am. I don't know. Okay, that's fine. So Sarah Fajardo. Present. We're just doing roll call, sir. Oh, I'm here. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Rick McDonald present. And I just got a text from Damon that his internet is out at his house. So he, he may join us if it comes back. So I think we've, we're good. All right. So we have a quorum. Uh, item number two on the agenda is the approval of the minutes for our, from our last meeting. Uh, I know Darcy wasn't here and we'd like to abstain. Those of you that did get a chance to read the mi minutes, uh, can I have a motion to approve? Move to approve. Move to approve. Second. I'll second. Okay. Sarah seconds. Uh, all in favor, aye. 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 Sarah, do you want to say aye? Oh, aye. Sorry. Yep. And Darcy, you're abstaining, right? I'm okay. still fiddling. So, oh, yeah, so noted. Okay, perfect. Call to the audience, item three. Uh, Jody, do we have any call to the audience? We did not receive any. We did not receive any. No call to the audience. Okay, that moves us on to item four on the agenda. Our reviews, starting with 4A, T22, CM. 06466502 East University, a uh, continuation from a while ago, I think, uh, quite a while ago. Uh, who is presenting for this property? Hi, that'd be me. I'm uh, Gabriel Vargas with GGV Designs. Okay, Gabriel. And do you need. Uh, to share your screen with us? Yes, or... sir. Okay. I'll, I'll share it. Share it with you. Okay. Okay, can everybody see? Yes. All right. Um, well, first of all, I'd like to thank everybody uh, for allowing us to uh, present the project. Um, this is a, a, a re just to give a recap from last time. Uh, this is a fire damage property uh, located on uh, 502 East University Boulevard. It's uh, facing this uh, this alleyway, it's a public alleyway. And um, last time in a review, I the major items that were of concern were the windows 
And uh, we had a vinyl, we had a call out for typical vinyl windows, um, but committee decided that we wanted to uh, have actually aluminum clad, which we have specified uh, the gel wind, all, all the windows that are operable, um, kind of go with the fabric of university where we have hung windows and um and and uh and a casement window casement window is gonna be on the west elevation which is shown here it's above the sink and then uh the remainder of them are gonna be hung windows which we have uh one in the west elevation and then uh one in the north, and then there was another on the south elevation, I believe. No, we blocked up the- I didn't see one on the south yeah, elevation. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. There was one where there was a, a evap cooler, but that, that got blocked off. Um, in addition, the as for the doors, uh, we have also specified a uh, gel one two panel for the two exterior doors. Um, one, this is the one that's going to be off to the west, which is visible street front, and then the other one is actually on the north end, which is not really visible from the street. Uh, it's actually between the two structures as as uh, seen here. Um, and uh, that was the extent of our changes. Now, uh, the door, the doors, I guess it was two, uh, are made, uh, are they, what are they? They're, uh, uh, they're uh, solid core uh, wood panels. They're solid core wood panels, okay. Yeah. yeah it's a two panel exterior and it's actually a gel one. Okay. Um, okay. Any, any questions or comments from the board? No. So if you go, uh, Gab Gabriel, if you could scroll to yes, show us the elevation views real quick. You got Absolutely. one sheet that I think has all the elevations on it. Um, so you have two elevations with no windows, two elevations with windows and doors. Um, one casement and then two double hung windows and then two uh, two panel doors. Do the, do the two panel doors have a, a window or a light of any kind in them? No, sir. Uh, they're, they're all solid. solid. They're all solid. Yes, sir. Okay. And then here's actually a cross section of them. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. And they are. Uh... Okay. Yep. And this is a non contributing structure, correct? Correct. Yes. Okay. Looks good to me. Yeah, that's the Jim, are you okay? Uh, Jim? Are we ready for a motion? Well, I'm just making sure nobody has any questions. You don't have any questions. Sarah said she was okay. Darcy, mm -hmm. no questions from you. I'm okay. You're okay. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Move. Uh, we approve as presented. All right. Second. Betsy seconds. Hey, here we go. I don't know who won that race. <laughs> Betsy did. <laughs> Betsy won the race. Okay, we have a motion, we have a second. Any discussion? All right, hearing none. All in favor, aye. 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 Darcy is a bigger aye. Okay, Rick McDonald, aye. The motion is unanimous, approved as presented. All right, Thank Gabriel. You. Yep, sounds good. Love to see that thing actually not sit there as a burned out Hulk anymore. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Just, Thank a warning. You. Just a warning, we're trying to get a speed hump on that street. Slow people down. Oh, well, sounds good. 
Thank don't you. Drive, don't drive your construction trucks too fast. Okay, thank you very much. All right, thank you. Okay. Stop my video. Okay, item number 4B on our agenda, SD0923-00104. Eight twenty six North Seventh Avenue, um, and I have to admit, looking at the material that was presented, I'm not one hundred percent sure I understand what the difference is between item four B and item four C. Um, so, who's who's presenting for this? Hey, Rick, I'll just jump yeah. in there for that. Oh yeah, thank you. Jim. So yeah, when they submitted, they're they're the same lot. That one right. is a garage, one's an ADU. Um, and intake staff made them submit it as two separate permits. So it, all the material is the same for both. Yeah. Um, and you may but want to also, the, they're they're, also, they're two, different, two different buildings. But well, well, plus they're changing windows and doors on the main unit. Main right? building, yes. So there's, but there's just two permits. There's just two permits. So you may want to just have him go through and talk about everything together and then make two different motions. So just just at a just for yucks, which one is supposed to be for the windows and which is supposed to be for the rest? Because it's the exact same material for both right. permits. Is that correct? Or my I, I mean, no, I looked at it, it over it is and over and over and I couldn't distinguish which it said three things were going to be addressed and you couldn't tell which permit was it. Anyway, you understand. Then, okay, I'll take that back. Then I suggest you make three motions. You can do one for the garage, one for the ADU, and then one to address the windows on the main house. And that'll keep it clean. Okay. Uh, so that, that works. That works for me. So Greg, are you the one presenting? Who's presenting? Yeah, I think I can present because I can share the PDF and walk you through it. Okay. Because it is, it's quite a complicated procedure here with three different things. So let me ask you this as best you can. Um, mm -hmm. Let's kind of present it the way Jody just described it. And maybe start, That's my with, intention. The main, start with the main building, mm -hmm. the window and door replacement. I think that's all you're doing is window and door replacement on that. But just start with that. And then we'll tie that one off and then move on to the ADU and then move on to the garage, I think, if you can do that. Does that make sense? I can definitely make sense. I think that makes the most sense for everyone. Um, so yes, both both packets are the, they're identical. They're just under two different permits because of how things are permitted. Um, so let's first go through the window replacement on the existing structure. Um, the existing structure here. So let's let's just do a, an overview. This is the the site. Um, existing structure has wood windows presumed to be original, uh, in very poor shape. Here's some examples here. Um, the in, the client's intention is to replace these windows, not in kind with wood windows but using aluminum clad wood windows with an identical or very similar proportion to the historic windows that are currently on the residence. Um, we do have a wood option that we can use, but it's been my experience in the past that the maintenance issues with an all wood window versus a wood clad um, is not necessarily worth it from uh, like a long-term maintenance perspective from a, a, an aesthetic standpoint. So we're we're intending on using uh, weather shield windows, uh, premium series. Uh, here's just some more of those windows. They're all double hung. Um, there's there's some windows on the back of the residence that have been replaced previous to this property, uh, previous to the owner's occupation of this property. We are not touching these windows. I just want to be clear that this is not the, we're not going for this, this aesthetic at all. We, uh, unfortunately, these will not be replaced at this time. But what we are going for is, let me just scroll to that part of the packet. So here's, here's a weather shield premium window. It's wood, wood sash, wood frame. Um, we're intending on having a raw wood 
exposed interior, and then we're proposing this blue stone uh, finish on the outside to to match the existing as closely as possible. We've been working with uh, a local supplier that I have a good relationship with, and and we we think both me and the supplier that this color is is as about as close as we can get to the current blue that is on the trim and and windows. Um, and so that is all of the windows on the existing residence, except for the ones that I just pointed out that are, uh, unfortunately they are vinyl. So this is a window schedule here of the intended windows um, on all of the elevations. This is a previously drawn plan, not by me, but by someone who re did some work uh, a few decades ago. So shall I stop here and then we can pick up the other two projects, how would you like to run it? Um, I can continue if you'd like. Well, just let me, for clarity, because I, I know it's in the package, but I'll just say it, and you're only replacing windows, you are not replacing doors. No doors will be replaced. And we also intend on keeping every piece of wood trim that we have, if that's possible. And in some places it definitely is. In other places it will have to be replaced uh, with new wood wood trim on the building itself you're talking about um for example the wood trim around these windows here oh so, the windows. i see what you're saying yeah we we don't intend on replacing that unless absolutely necessary all right and on the windows let's just stick to the one you're looking at right now that sill on the bottom of that window your intent would be to replicate that or, or keep that. Hopefully keep it. And most of these sills are in decent condition and it would be, so the Weather Shield Premium Series comes uh, where it can fit inside the window, inside the existing frame. So we don't intend on ripping the frames out of, out of the house. Um, we intend on keeping as much as we possibly can, including the sills, including, yeah. Okay. All right, let's, Pause there and see if any of the um, yeah Jim you've got your hand up. So uh, go back to the um, picture that shows the east elevation of existing with the window schedule, please. So uh, on the east elevation of the house, we see the in red E one that's obviously yes. going to be placed. Uh, the windows to either side. I looked at the photos; those were um, odd. Not necessarily the most track. I was just curious whether you're keeping those. We are keeping them for now because they were recently replaced before the homeowner occupied this house. Um, it is not our intention to replace them. Okay. Even even though they are horrendous looking, unfortunately. Okay. I'm just curious. Um, yeah. Paint them. Rick, this is Sarah. Yes, Sarah, go ahead. I thought we didn't do allow aluminum clad windows. No, we do. That was a, a revision to the design guide. Um, aluminum clad wood core windows are permitted. Oh, okay. Wood core. Yes. Got it. Yes. That, yeah, they're wood core. Um, and Greg, I mean, I, I appreciate you trying to keep, match the color. Just FYI to you, we don't really have a say on color per se. So yeah. don't, worry, don't worry about that. Um, uh, I, I am, Darcy, do you have any questions before I? No. No, Bet Betsy, anything? I was looking on the plans and it's kind of hard to see. So, but like, for instance, window N1 and N2 and S4 and S5, those are double hungs that are, are they gonna have that wood strip in the middle as they do currently, or are they gonna be enlarged a little bit and be closer together hanging? No, so that's, that, that's a wood, that's an existing wood post and we intend to keep all of those wood posts as well. So they will be individual units, individual okay. double. For example, N1 would be two individual double hung units in between the post and the center and the existing okay. trip. Yeah. Awesome. 
And then Greg, I'm, I just want to go back to the way I heard what you said um, about the uh, the dimensions of the window, new versus old. You're 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 keeping it as close as identical or close as possible. But it, I mean, are they? Are you changing the dimensions of any of these windows from the original? No, no, no. So, so the the overall the rough opening dimensions of the windows should be exactly the same. We're hoping. Um, the only what I was I guess referencing there perhaps is the dimension of the actual sash, like the 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 characteristic of the window itself. We tried to match as closely as possible what currently exists, so that the the new wood solid wood windows will match the existing solid wood windows. Okay, I'm going to be just a tiny bit picky so that we can make the the, uh, the motion as as clear as possible. Um, you 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 have been successful in coming up with something that will match, or you don't know yet. It the it does match, and we we believe that the, uh, you said that the color doesn't matter, but I we were also trying to match the color as well. So sure. yes. Yeah, we're not ruling on the color is all I'm saying. I'm, I'm, I'm just asking, will the dimensions be, the dimensions of the openings be the same before and after? You know you're not making any changes. They, they will not, there will be no changes at all. And also, I just wanted to point out since we're on this page, um, there will be no mullions added to the, the existing windows do not have mullions. They're a simple double hung window. We, we will not, this is just for example purposes. Oh yeah, I assume that. So the 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 arrangement of the lights on the windows will be the same as they exactly. are. Exactly. Yes. Yep. Okay. That's All great. Right. I do not have any other questions. Um, if no one else from the board has any other questions, can I have a? Would let's just tie this one off on the main building. Uh, may I have a motion? Darcy Hazelbaker, I motion to approve as presented. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Jim Glock uh, will second. All right. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Yes. Can you revise your motion to note what item you are approving? Um, <laughs> windows. Yes. All right. So, Darcy, do you want to slightly modify your motion? Darcy has a Baker motion to approve windows as presented. Thank you. Okay. Your second dir also has to pitch yeah. in. Oh, oh are you good? Uh, yeah. Approved. No, you you second. All right. All right. We have a motion and we have a second. No discussion. All in favor, aye. Aye. That's the aye. Let's see, Sarah. Sarah, aye. Darcy, aye, yes. Jim Glock, aye. Jim Glock, aye. And Rick McDonald, aye. So we have unanimous approval of the windows for the main house, contributing house. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's go to whichever one you want to do next, the garage or the ADU. Um, okay, well, they are related. So I guess I'll start with the ADU and then we can move on to the garage. So those are the two separate, just to be clear, those are the two separate permits with the identical packet that was submitted. Um, so the rear yard uh, is quite large and it doesn't necessarily reflect the characteristic of accessory buildings in the development zone. So what we tried to do is propose an accessory dwelling that somewhat matches both the footprint characteristics, the setback characteristics, and the height characteristics of accessory structures in the development zone. For example, this structure you see adjacent to the north. There are, just to be clear, there are two very large and very different uh, uh, multifamily buildings that are surrounding this property. We're not referencing anything to do with the characteristics of those buildings at all, just to be clear. Um, so the ADU that is proposed is 768 square feet. Um, it will live in that rear yard. It is not visible from the front yard and it is accessible from Faro Avenue, which is the, the street behind, um, sorry, is this street to the right of the property. The other street is seventh. 
So the structure as it is proposed to sit on the site would be located here to the east of the, the existing residence. It would be accessed off of Faro. It would not be accessed off of 7th. This is a proposal for how that floor plan might look, um, just to give you an idea of where the entry is. One of the things that we wanted to reference was the porch, both the entry porch, and in this case, we wanted an exit porch. Okay. Um, to be clear, no sliders will be used here. These are all uh, single hung doors or um, double, double French doors. We will be matching the characteristic um, of the existing residence when it comes to windows and doors. We'll be using solid doors, solid wood doors, and we'll be using a same weather shield aluminum clad windows. Um, this is an axonometric or isometric view of it on the site. It's highlighted in white. What we tried to do is we tried to orient the gables with the existing residence and the orientation of that gable. Um, and here's the elevations from the site perspective. So the east site elevation you see C3 is how you would look at, that would be the front elevation of this proposed project. But once again, this project is not, you can see here again, this project is not visible from 7th Avenue and it's not visible uh, from any sort of perimeter of the development zone on any of the, the perimeter streets. Um, we also tried to match the height of the existing uh, accessory structure. This structure is abandoned, but it's a contributing structure and we thought that it was important. We, I think it might be a garage, so we, that's what we proposed to sort of match the scale. Uh, we also tried to match the setback of that, uh, perhaps garage, perhaps accessory dwelling unit. We don't really know exactly what it is. Um, just to give you some perspective again, this is that elevation along 7th. This is the front elevation of the house. So there, you this elevation would not change at all with this proposed ADU in the back. Um, so looking at some neighborhood photos. So this, let's look at uh, photograph B at 830 North 7th. This is that adjacent contributing accessory structure that is perhaps a garage. We're not exactly sure. Um, but there are some, uh, for example, let me move to it. This structure here, C, is a rear yard uh, lived in accessory or casita. It's probably not an accessory dwelling unit. And there are a few other in the development zone as well. For example, um, at 25 East University and 35 East University, these are accessory structures as well of a similar scale and height as the one that we are proposing. Um, and these are those buildings that are that are far out of scale. So going on to the, so we're proposing the same weather shield windows and we're proposing the weather shield patio doors as well, which would be an aluminum clad solid wood door in that same blue color to match the residence. We're also looking to match um, the, sorry, we're also looking to match the finish, the exterior finish to the residence if possible. So we'd be going with the cement stucco, we'd be trying to match that white color that exists on the residence. Uh, the one difference that we would have with materials is we're proposing a corrugated uh, roof, which exists in the development zone, but it does not exist on the property. Uh, we find it to be appropriate because there are other accessory dwellings in, or casitas, I should say, in the development zone that use uh, corrugated roofing. We're proposing a galvalum which is almost like a galvanized finish. Um, and we're proposing a white stucco. Um, and well, it's actually that's, and then let me just reference this here. So we're gonna be uh, specking the trim light doors, which are really high quality solid wood doors. Um, we're not proposing a light in the door, we're proposing solid panel. And once again, to reference that elevation, this is that front elevation that would be using that door and those double hung weather shield windows. And we're proposing another one um, on the garage, which we'll talk about that uh, separately. Okay. 
Okay. Um, let's open it up to discussion. Any uh, comments or discussion from the board? Okay. So, uh, Greg, um, what is the um, peak height of the main building? So you'll see it here. It's it's fifteen five, or perhaps fifteen seven or fifteen nine. Oh, I, I see. measured okay, a bunch I of. I didn't see that on the drawing. We don't have this drawing. At least I don't. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, this this should be sheet. Let me see sheet thirteen of the packet. But I, I'm sorry if you don't have it. Um, I mean, you know, this somebody else on the board saw it. I did not see elevations in the packet. Okay, that's uh, that's fine. So the um, structures you're proposing for the rear of the property are lower by a few inches than the peak of the main property. Yes. So the 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 ridge height of the ADU, the highest point, is fourteen nine. That's to the top of the roofing as well, not to the top of deck. Right. Just to be clear. Okay. Any other comments, questions from, from the board? Is there no porch on that front door? Or it looks like there's like a tunnel inside. So so there's there's an inset porch on both sides. One of them is more of an L, so it's a few feet and then another few feet in with a, a four and a half foot entrance for you know a potted plant or something. But that's that's the intention is on both sides. There's a bit of a porch. Um, but not definitely not the same scale as the existing residence. No, the this we we felt that the structure was much smaller and didn't warrant one. But I can understand. Right. Well, so so kind of pulling on that thread just a tiny bit. Mm -hmm. The drawing that you have here. Can you tell us a little bit about the? Are you saying there's going to be a a wall with a sliding? garage door opening along the alley? What, what's represented in this? Not, not, this the, build, not this the building, I'm talking about the alley wall. You, it looks like a wall. So this is an existing gate and this is an existing corrugated surrounding fence. Okay. So this is a sliding corrugated metal gate that currently exists. We weren't proposing any change to that. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's no proposed fencing changes or any type of screening changes. Okay. Um, we're intending on keeping, there's a couple of native mesquite trees and we're intending on keeping those. Okay. Actually, that's perfectly fine. Um, I was really asking kind of for a different question because uh, no. I know you weren't asking about changing the fencing, but there is a fence there, there is a gate there. That alley has a lot of foot traffic in it. So, hmm. uh, just from a having a having a, a porch or anything on the back, just something like as long as it's isolated from the alley, that would be good. That's a good point. Yeah. That particular location just gets a lot of traffic. All right. Any other uh, questions or comments? Right. No comments for me. Okay. Hearing none, do I have a motion? On this the ADU. Lock, this yep. is Jim Locke. I move to approve the ADU as pre as presented. As presented. Do I have a second? Darcy Hazelbaker, I second. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of approving the ADU as presented, aye. Aye. Darcy Hazelbaker, aye. Jim Glock, aye. Betsy, aye. Betsy, aye. Sarah? Aye. Uh, all right. Motion approved unanimously. Okay, so the ADU is approved. Thank you.
All right, Greg, take us home on the garage. So we can we can stay on this slide here. So the garage is built of the same materials as the ADU. It's supposed to have the same finish treatment as the ADU, which is once again supposed to reflect the existing residence. Um, I can show you in the elevation here. So the proposed height at the ridge of this garage is 10 foot 10, which is somewhat similar or exact to the existing accessory structure right to the north. Um, once again, so there are no proposed windows in the garage, but there is a proposed door. That door will match the ADU front door, which once again will be a trim light solid wood door. The one difference is this garage will have a roll up door. We're not necessarily proposing this roll up door. I'm just trying to show you how that works. Um, we're not proposing a, an electronic door. We are proposing a Galvalume door. Uh, there are no roll up Galvalume doors in the development zone. So we looked, <laughs> there's there's a few farther up and I know this is this is not necessarily how things work, but there are a few farther up the block if you if you travel up 7th Street in the West University Historic Zone that are facing alleys that are roll up and are Galvalume. Uh, once again, the door is not this scale. The door is a single car garage to be in scale with the existing context. We're using Galvalume so that it matches the roofing of both the garage and of the uh, ADU. We're not opposed to a paint color, but I, I personally believe that the aesthetics of the Galvalume mesh better than a painted garage door, uh, but we are not opposed to that amendment. Um, and let's just go back to the site plan briefly. Once again, this is where that car, one car garage will sit. So it's reflecting the existing position of that gate that accesses the alley. So what we're doing is we're taking uh, the, the driveway that exists, we're shortening it by half and enclosing half of it with the garage. So we're leaving two parking spaces for the residents. Um, yeah, I think that's, I think everything else has been covered in the ADU discussion. I don't, I don't believe I could share any new information with, with this presentation. I'm sorry, you may have said it and I didn't hear it. Galvanized uh, corrugated roof. It, galvanized corrugated roof cement stucco painted white trim that is that same dark blue color to match the other two structures. Okay. All right. Any questions from the board on that one? No from Jim. Oh. Nope. From I Jeff. just, sorry to interrupt. I just want to let you know that uh, Damon is here. It looks like he showed up around six, I have 639, but that's when I first looked up. Hey, Damon. Yeah, sorry about that. Just uh, solved my oh. connectivity issues. Yeah, sorry. Glad you're back online. Um, did, did you have it? Did you join early enough to, to hear uh, the dialogue on the uh, one car garage? Uh, no, I joined when the gentleman was talking about the gavel room door. I didn't okay. quite, I don't have all the content. So the, the, the picture that we have up in front of us right now, what we were talking about is the proposed one car garage kind of in the you know upper left, upper right hand corner of that picture. And the gavelin door was the roll up door for that garage is proposed. Yeah, there you can see it better from that east side elevation. Okay. And I don't, I don't have any issue with the roll-up door as you're describing it. Um, if there are no other comments or questions from the board, we can do a, a motion. Darcy Hazelbaker, I motion to approve the group. 
uh, presented. Okay, I have a motion, second. Betsy seconds. All right, I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All right, hearing none, all in favor, aye. Jim Coffey. Sarah, aye. Darcy Hazemaker, aye. Betsy, aye. Betsy, aye. Damon, I assume you just want to abstain. Yeah, I'll abstain. Okay, cool. And Rick McDonald, aye. So motion passes unanimously on the, uh, on the garage, okay? Thank you. All right. And thank you. And good luck with that. Thank you. All right. Uh, item 4D, SD 0823-0009-0717 North 7th Avenue. Who's presenting for that? I'm thinking that's going to have to be trailed to the next meeting. I don't see the applicant. Oh, you don't see the applicant. Okay. I don't remember seeing any material either, Jody. There was material, but it was posted. I sent out an email that said, here's the, it's changed, went up a little late. Can we okay. act out the applicant? We don't have the There's, applicant. Yeah, the applicant is not here. So it'll just trail to the next meeting. Okay. But we, we couldn't move on it without the applicant because it's just window replacement. I think they did a, a good job in their material that they presented. Uh, it's they're doing, but if the applicant has to be present, I'm, I'm done. There's yeah, it's the applicant needs to be present. It's not just window replacement. They're stuccoing a rear building that's currently painted brick. Um, so the applicant needs to be present. Okay. We'll just trail it to the next one. That's fine. And the roof, and they're doing the roof. And they're doing the roof, it looks like, yeah. Okay, easy enough. Um, so we'll uh, move D to the next meeting or a future meeting. Uh, that brings us to item five, staff updates. Jody, any staff updates? The um, Historic Preservation Conference is next week. I wanna say that I saw Darcy somewhere in that mix, like presenting something. Oh. Uh oh, I hope not. Oh my gosh. Oh, maybe I'm just totally making that up. It was something else that I saw. Never mind. Never mind. It's been I'm kind of be a there, day. so I wanted to kind of be a cheerleader or, or heckle. I'm not sure which. But... Yeah, but I'm um, gonna hopefully be there too. But hopefully, I'm not presenting. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I'm totally, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's been a long day. But if you you know haven't had an opportunity to sign up, I would suggest, and you're interested, in going to the website. Um, it is the Arizona Preservation Foundation's um, annual historic preservation conference, and it just happens to be here in Tucson. Um, so, you know, if you have an opportunity, I would suggest checking it out. Um, and then I think that's my only uh, comment. There was also something sent out by city clerk earlier this week. Rick, you should have gotten it. And it discussed hybrid meetings. Um, there is some action for you to take on that signing stuff and stuff like that. Um, but as I understand it, you didn't, I didn't get anything. I didn't get a mailing and I didn't get an email. Um, I'll find it in my email and send it to you. Um, yep. I, I got a flurry of them real quick <laughs> from okay. the city clerk. Uh, but yeah, check that out. And it just talks about hybrid meetings. Um, if you, I know I had brought it up before you guys are kind of more interested in, keeping it virtual, um, but should you change your mind, they have some guidelines now for the hybrid meetings. Yeah, that okay. put forward. yeah would you forward that to me, please? Thank you. Yeah, and, and that's it. Okay, item six, future agenda. Any future agenda items? Obviously, uh, yeah. I'm not rolling the one from tonight. Yeah, that one, 717 North 7th Avenue uh, will be coming your way. Uh, that's the only one I can think of off the top of my head right now. All right. Okay. That brings us to item seven, adjournment. We have a motion to adjourn. Oh, come on. Or she has a bakery right? motion to adjourn. Thank you. Motion is second. 
Betsy awesome. seconds. Second. Betsy. Yep. Betsy beat you to it, Sarah. Okay. Beat you, Betsy. Okay. <laughs> All in favor, aye. 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 Uh, look at that we did it 6 46 p.m we are adjourned thank you all very much and have a great night thank you good night thank you, thank you. Well, jody and relationship